Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Inspire Moment with Jumonte. My name is Jumonte Lagoju, and today we'll be learning how to draft a male boxer. We're going to quickly run through it. Thank you for all those who are subscribed to the channel. For those who are joining us for the first time, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. You can check through our past videos for other interesting tutorials. So quickly, let's start. On my paper here, you will see that I've drafted um, a kind of box. So that's so that we can run through it quickly. At the top here, I have left two inches because I'll be needing it. And on this side, this is my back and this is the front. So I make sure that on this side also, I have an extra enough for the back extension. You get to know what the back extension is as a progress. So let's quickly begin. So at the center, this is the center line, which will be the side seam. And from point A to B is the length of your uh what's it called the uh, boxer that you are making you can make it as long or as short as you prefer and a to c is a crotch depth i'll tell you how to get it without stress okay what i usually use for my crotch depth especially in this class for this class it may not be may not work perfectly when you're making a female pant or something i don't use it that way because a female pant needs to be more fitted for a boxer it has to be a little bit free okay the regular boxer at least when it's not a boxer brief it has to be a little bit uh, free so what i use is the hip measurement divided by four if you want it much more freer you can have like his or three quarter of an inch to one inch so the hip measurement i'm using is 44 inches so a to d here will be quarter of the inch I mean, quarter of the hip measurement, which is 11 inches. A to D is 11 inches, and it's the same thing as C to F and B to high. What I have here for the front is the same thing I have here for the back. So if my hip measurement is um, 44 inches and the quarter is 11 inches, that 11 inches is my crotch depth. So that's what I have here, A to C. Is my crotch depth that is 11 inches okay so now for the uh, crotch extension let's let's work with the back first the crotch extension for the back is half of what I have here C to G which is half of the hip measurement so what I have here is 11 inches the extension is going to be five and a half so I'm going to measure five and a half to this side so I'm extending my back by five and a half inches, which is exactly what I have left on this side. So that is why it's important to decide what your crotch extension is before you start drafting. Okay, so here are the, this is the center back. I'm going to go up by two inches and that is why I left this extra two inches. So the two inches is just exactly what I have here at the top. And then I extend it up by two inches, then connect to the side seam, which is A. Then I'm going to find the midpoint from E to G. And you know the length is 11 inches, so the midpoint is five and a half. So from this point, five and a half inches, I'm just going to draw a curved line don't make it too curve or too deep also. so what i have here this angle here is like two and a half inches so just to monitor your curve all right and then i'll come to the hem of the pants i'm going to extend it also extend the hem to the edge of my paper then from the edge, I'm going to measure one inch inwards. One inch and draw a slant line. Okay, so that's basically it for the back uh, pattern. Then let's come to the front. Okay, for the front, we're not extending anything as in at the top here but the uh, crotch extension is quarter of c 
to f that is quarter of the if measurement you know for the back is half for the front is quarter so that's like two and three quarter so i'm going to extend it from the edge here from point f by two and three quarter i like using pen color pen so that uh, even without the marking that i know which one is my front and which one is my back okay now for the opening at the top you know there's usually this opening uh, uh at the at the what's it called at the front of the uh, boxer that eating opening i'm going to measure eight inches down okay from that point at the point of eight inches i'm going to go in by half an inch so I'm just drawing a straight line half an inch then from that mark I'm going to draw a curved line to the extension okay then I'll extend the leg line also like I did for the back and then square this extension down basically then I'll go in by one inch and that will be the leg line so our pattern is ready. Let's cut it out. I cut out my pattern. And the way I cut it out is uh, I cut it as one piece. So that the side seam, I did not separate it. So this is my front part. This is my back part. So there won't be any joining on the side seam. It will be cut on cut. So this way, I place it on my uh, fabric. This is the fabric I'm using. Don't mind that it's not so bright. Okay. So place it on the fabric and um, at the hem here, leave your seam allowance or hemming allowance. At the side, we we'll have like half inch, then half inch. I'm not placing it here. Then at the top, you're going to have one and a half inches because we're going to be folding it down. We'll fold that one and a half inch down so that we can pass our one inch uh, elastic through it. Okay? So... Uh, the half inch extra is to fold it in or you can search the edge to the uh, fabric so I folded it in then for the uh, flap here I suggest you had like uh, one and a half inch or one inch so that uh, you have enough fabric to overlap and the crotch area is not opening okay so this is uh, the uh, material cut out for my in my own case i did not leave i did not cut the extension too long uh but i would have preferred to cut the next one definitely i'll cut it longer than this okay so after cutting it you're going to cut another piece a fly piece that is eight inches long and uh, two and a half inches wide and you just shape it at the edge here so let's talk about piecing it together we're going to place it right side on right side <clears throat> and first of all also the left side of your pants in the front we're going to iron in the extension so i'm ironing it i've ironed it flat like this this is the extension i've ironed it so that you know it's kind of straight here just to mark it you can also iron this also to mark where the joining will be then we're going to place it right side on right side So this is the back part of our uh, boxer and this is the front part so i'm going to place it on top of each other i've opened this one out for the for for now so that i can stitch so i'm going to stitch here with my seam allowance i left half inch seam allowance so I'm, i'll just be taking half inch here and then i'll take it a little bit like half inch above this uh, extension here okay then at the top i'll stitch the one and a half that i had it on top so that's um, for the band i'll stitch one and a half okay so that i have this remaining opening here so flip it iron the left side okay i have to make sure that 
this teaching it falls on the line that is the importance of ironing it so that you know that uh, where you place your stitch is exactly on the line so that when you open you're going to have something like this so the uh, <coughs> this is what it's going to look like the left side this is the left side this is my own left maybe your right but this is the left side you know for a male pant or male clothes is usually uh towards the right like this is the female is this way anyways the left side is folded in why the right side is not folded so this is how the top is going to look like so this top here is stitched then we have this opening here okay then i'm going to take my fly extension i'm going to stitch it to the part that is not folded which is the the right side i'll stitch it I'm going to use cut of an inch seam because, okay, I did not uh, cut out the extension too long and I don't want it to be, uh, be opening uh, when it is not. So after stitching it, you're going to iron it flat this way. So this is how the inside is going to look like. Okay, so once that is done, we're going to join uh okay let's join the back also first let's join the back the back crotch area join the back crotch area with your half inch seam okay i think we should quickly do that then i'll show you how to join the uh, leg area first simple you know just simply by opening it up like this match it up at the uh, 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 crotch area and then stitch so that's it basically our uh, uh, boxer is ready we just turn down the top that we've already ironed the one inch seam so if you have a serger you search and uh, around the edge here if you don't you fold it and stitch you leave a small opening here to pass your uh, elastic the elastic length you use is you multiply your waist measurement by 0.8 okay so for this one I'll, I'll be cutting out the elastic like 30 inches and then you put it inside and your boxer is ready let's quickly stitch and I'll show you the results right so our boxer is ready uh, I've done the M and um the head here yeah, i just turned it in but if you have a zigzag i mean you can do a zigzag stitch along the edge it was the same thing you pass in your elastic remember the length of your elastic is the waist measurement multiplied by 0 0.8 okay so that will give you enough uh, uh, room that's it all right okay the last thing is your button so here, the top part at the midpoint, you're going to have your button underneath here and the down part here is where you do your button hole so that the button buttons inward, it doesn't show on the outside. But on, on most of these mass produced boxer, they don't even have a button, they just leave it as long as um, this part overlaps enough, that is you do, the extension is very long enough. Uh, it will overlap very well so that it's not open at the crotch area. So that's it. Um, thank you for joining this class. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so so that you don't miss any of my classes. Turn on your notifications. And uh, you can check uh, for pre our previous videos. We have videos on detailed uh, uh, drafting for female pants and all that. Alright, see you in my next class. And until then, stay inspired. Bye.